Hey planner babes, it's Amber from Amber Plans Her Day and just want to come on and share with you how exactly I make my stickers for my small business, Amber Plans Her Day. So make sure you stay tuned. So this is my iPad. I have the iPad Pro um, 12.9 inch, I want to say. And I'm just going to unlock it for you guys. There it goes. Okay, I might have to turn this light down. Look at low battery, 5%. Let's turn this light down so maybe we can see without a glare. I use the app Procreate. It's a paid for app, purchased app, and I use a canvas size of 4 by 6 So... My sticker sheets are four by six, so my canvas size is four by six. That's how I kind of um, lay everything out so I can know where in the sticker sheet you'll fit. Procreate's really cool. You have, you know, marker. Oops, well, it's on white right now. So let me let me erase that. Let me lower. This is your brush size. So then you can color. There's tons of different brushes. And you can like buy um, different brushes as well. I personally use like um, purchased brushes. So they even on Procreate, it comes with like a brush pen. A brush pen on the um, iPad is very nice. Up, down, up, down. So it's more pressure. This an Apple Pencil is pressurized. So you can make your calligraphy lines that way. So I personally use a brush called Sela. This is by a company called Brush and Barley on Etsy and all of my quotes and all my words typically use Sela. And it's the same concept up, down, up, down, up, down. So that's less pressure, more pressure. You can make the brush like, you know, really thick when it's all the way up. The up lines are still bigger and then those down lines are really big. Um, so you kind of just have to play around with it and see where you like it. I usually keep it at like 6% because I feel like that's like the best. I just like that. So whenever you're lettering, right, like we'll just pick... I guess we kind of like this red color. I guess we'll just use that. So I'm going to let her don't give up. Don't. Oh, I don't like that. If you hold your pen down, it will make like a straight line. So don't. Oops. Don't. Then the best thing you can do is add layers. So over here you have layers. So if you were to accidentally draw right on top of that, you can delete that mark without messing up any of those others. So let's change the color. I don't know. Let's make it a little bit less. Give. Oops, that was not good. Don't give. And then let's go back to our other word. Add a new layer. So everything will be on its own layer. Up. This is your encouragement. If you are playing around and working with stickers, trying to make stickers on your Cricut, don't give up. Okay. Now, the reason you like to have several layers is because this mouse up here lets you move it. Let's just put it right in the center of that screen. You see that yellow line that pops up? That means it's in the center. I think I'm gonna make this just a little bit smaller though. Don't. And then we'll do give. I kind of liked give a little bit to the side there. And then we'll go to up. And we'll put that one underneath give. Don't give up. So now, let me show you guys. So whenever you're making a sticker, if I was just to put this on the Cricut, just like this, what would happen is it would cut out 
this part of the O, this part, this part of the D, this part, it will cut out this and this, cut out this little thing. So you would have like a million little stickers, like all the little letters would be cut out. But you, what you want is it to be like this on my Fall Essentials sticker sheet, as you can see, right, it's all on one white background. So let me show you guys how I do that because this is like the one thing that I had to work on for a long time before. So what I'm going to do, well, there's two ways you can do this. What I do now is I group all of those together. And as, if you do a group, now it's grouped. So now it's going to be like this. But you can, within a group, still go and just move one aspect of that group. I usually duplicate it. If you swipe right, duplicate. I'll turn off that bottom one just because I don't need to have two of the same copy. And then I'll flatten this one. When you flatten it, that's when it becomes one thing that you just can't change. Um, you can use this like little S selective tool here where you go to freehand and what you can do is like draw around if it's all flat or it's all on one layer, draw around it and then you can move it like that. So there's, there's different options. Anyway, what you do here, you duplicate the flatten layer. The reason I flatten it is because um, when it's grouped together, I like to have that as the original in case I do need to edit it in the future. So I go to white, you come here, you go alpha lock. I'm gonna try to do this slow. And then let me turn off the background light. Well, actually, let me just change it to like a purpley color. So you can see that, oh, it's still kind of white to you guys. Let me do a little bit darker, little darker. There we go. So you can see different color and shut off that light all the way. Okay, so what we do, you take the bottom layer, you put your alpha lock on by swiping to the left or clicking alpha lock. Then you also go to the fill layer. So now you can see this layer is white and this layer is the colored one. Then you turn alpha lock off. So if you turn that layer off, you can see these little check marks means that layer is on or off. What I do next, I go to Gaussian blur and I go to the layer. I usually go up about six to seven at most 10%. As you can see, it kind of put a nice layer around that. Blurry. Then when I go is back to that selective tool, down at the bottom, I make sure I'm on automatic. Okay, you can see when you move it, it also moves this. I usually just make it so that there's a nice, like what I call an offset, and that's what this part of the sticker is, right? Like all around the F, that's the offset. That's what the Cricut will then cut. So I like to make sure, I'll probably keep it at zero this time. So this space here will all be white. Then I go to invert and I go to a marker. I usually go to airbrushing because that's the best one just to color in white really quick, really nice colored in white. You kind of push and hold that S button down. You go back to invert, you go to erase. Then you're gonna erase around. It's actually kind of hard to see, but let me see if I can show you guys some of that difference here. So you come in here and you kind of erase around the edge. You guys can't really see it, but there's actually like a little bit of white blur still around. So I usually just erase all around and just erase is the blur. So now I'm done, but I'm not really done because look at this, this guy over here. This is gonna be cut out by itself. So what I need to do is go back, you know, and just kind of combine this with like, you know, so that the Cricut won't cut it out. Like, so now it's part of that sticker. It kind of joined, okay? So then, let's see, we're gonna turn off the background layer. So now it's just, this sticker. You're gonna share it as a PNG and you're gonna share it, save the photo, save the image, okay? Then, oops, sometimes that's hard for me. I usually go to my Cricut app right here on my iPad and then we're just gonna upload. New project, upload, select from the photo library. You're gonna select 
what you just made here. So you can see this is that sticker. And then I usually smooth it out. This helps just make it a little bit, like the cut line just a little bit crisper. So you can see here what I'm gonna try to do, we'll try to zoom in a little bit, like right here, just like in this little section, we're gonna push smooth. Do you see how it kind of came out to be a little bit bigger? Just to make the cut line smooth. Next, you wanna do a print then cut. This will just cut it black. You wanna print it in the colors. So don't give up. Save. And then it'll be into your um, into your Cricut space. And then I'm gonna go to the computer. You can do it all 100% from here. Like you can just, um, oops, cancel. I wanted to open uploaded images. You can easily just come in here, insert it, go to make it, and then it's on, right, it's on a, mat for you but i usually do it on my computer because it's a little bit easier so i'll show you guys over there on the computer so this is my cricut design space and basically i know i don't know why it all saves black um i'm not sure why it does that but sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but these are like this one has some color i don't know why it does that it's so odd so something that you can do you just go new and then you have like a blank canvas here. You can upload your work. So this is the don't give up that we just did together. And then here you can see the size, right? So you can see that it is um, right here. Size width is like three and a half by five and a half. So usually like if I'm making a sticker, you know, I make it a little bit smaller. Of course, when I'm making a sticker, I'll have it'll be like a whole sticker sheet. This is kind of what it'll look like, right? Like here's my spooky season, my um, Halloween quotes. This one comes a little bit bigger. So what I do, I just resize it to four by six. And then this is kind of that size that will print and cut so that it becomes a sticker sheet. So as you can see, like this one is going to be quite a big sticker because it's nearly as big as the whole sheet. So um, I'm going to make it big so you guys can see how big it is, but we'll also do this one as well. So you guys can see the difference here. What I do is I select both of them and here in this bottom right hand corner, I click attach. This will make them so this is exactly how they will cut and print. So you're going to make it. And you can see, don't give up is very big. I might need to make it a little bit smaller. And then there's the spooky um, or happy Halloween quotes. So then you go to continue. And then it's connecting to my Cricut right now. I'm going to, you know, um, we're going to make it so that it will connect to a Cricut. Turning my Cricut on. So I own four crickets because I don't have a lot of time to work throughout the day. Um, but this is kind of what we do. So I click the cricket that I just turned on, send to printer. And then I always use my system dialog because this, um, I feel like helps it print at a higher quality. And let me just make this a little bit smaller here. So my system dialog comes up, I click best because printing in best quality obviously is the best way to go. Okay, now let me show you guys the base materials. The one that I use is called Sticky Note, and but you can click Browse All Materials. You can just search sticker and, you know, printable sticker paper clear or matte, like white regular sticker paper. If you are cutting um, like washi, you can do one of those. I mean, there are so many endless options. Sticky Note has been the one that I found works the best for me and it is currently printing. And then I will show you guys kind of what we do from here. So this sticker paper is on our mat here and it just you just put it on exactly like you see um, on the screen. So like if I was to put it upside down or something, it would cut wrong. So it's pretty self-explanatory um, from what you see on your screen and I can show you that in just one second. 
So here's the settings that I've been using. So like I said, sticky note, it's on default pressure. And this is how you put it on your mat. So you can see the hole at the top of your mat. So my mat looks just like that one. Don't give up there at the top. And then whenever you have it all set up like this, you just go to your Cricut machine. You see that flashing. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put my camera down so that I can kind of show you guys the whole process. So what you do is you kind of just, you know, line it up in your Cricut, you make sure everything's good to go, and then you push that flashing button that I told you about. Just kind of guide it in there nice. And then the next button is gonna flash. Let me show you guys what that looks like. So then you just click this button right here, boop. And then we can watch it cut, and I'll speed it up for you guys so you can kind of see it cutting. But what it's gonna do right now is scan it. So it's gonna read all of those black lines and tell the Cricut where it needs to cut. You can see my mats are really dirty. I need new ones. Um, but this will work for this time and it's gonna be okay. So as you can see, it just goes over the offset that I made. And it'll go into kind of that T area, go around it. And then there's your sticker. Okay, so now it's done, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna flash here again. And then you just touch that flashing button and it'll spit it out at you. So then what we have here is, you know, you can just peel it off of the mat and you have a sticker. So just peel it off of that paper. Cause it is cut right around, you know, you just want it to be a little cautious there. And then you could just stick it on a piece of paper. Just like that. What do you guys think of that? Right? And you do the same thing with all of your other stickers that you make. If you're trying to make a sticker sheet, what you would do, you could just cut around this, you know, so that it's a sheet. Boo, don't give up. And that's it, you guys. It's it's overall a pretty simple process. Oh my goodness, I'm having so much fun putting stickers down. <laughs> yes, I am a grown woman and I love stickers. I don't hate to admit that. You guys, that's it. So I just made stickers with my iPad, my Cricut, and sticker paper. You can do it 100% from your iPad if your iPad's connected to your printer and you can connect it Bluetooth to your Cricut as well. I just like to do it on my laptop or my um, desktop computer just because I find it a little bit easier. But that's it, you guys. If you have any specific questions about how I do anything, let me know in the comments. Um, and if there's any way I can help you guys kind of figure out your Cricut or how to make stickers, please let me know because I definitely want to be of help and assistance in any way that I can. Thank you so much for following along as I share all my tips on kind of how I make stickers. Hopefully this was kind of a fun video, a little bit different and just um, helpful for all of you. So thank you guys for following along. I hope you will continue to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.